What's up there YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be doing a informative video. I know a lot of people out there have been doing tons of different market watch videos talking about specific cards you guys should buy, sell, trade, etc. And things that you should definitely be keeping an eye out for, particularly once the link summoning format goes up. I'll be doing a more specific card by card link summoning market watch moving forward in the future if you guys would like to see that. I know that's something my channel isn't necessarily based off of, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. A lot of people give their own spins on these videos. And I think it's a good idea to give you guys a little bit more of an insight into this kind of stuff but today I'm gonna to be doing something that's more relevant to an overall market watch as far as card prices and trends changing potentially in the future come July and the reason I say July is because there's some new information that was recently released by TCG Player. Now, if you guys don't already know, TCG Player is one of the best ways to buy and sell cards. It's one of the newest and most popular ways the last couple years of doing so. Traditionally, it was strictly eBay, but eBay tends to eat up a lot of fees uh, for sellers. So if you see a seller, for instance, sell a card for $100, uh, eBay and PayPal and all, you know, not including shipping, there's gonna be a fee taken out of that and roughly around 12, 12 or so percent, they're only gonna be making, let's say, maybe like $88 hypothetically right uh, on TCG player those fees tends to be significantly lower and in my eyes uh, in my personal experience something that a lot of people aren't aware of is traditionally because people would always look at eBay, they would often dismiss TCG player and now people are gravitating over to TCG player considering it the end-all be-all well one thing which I'm going to get to is there's actually an update to TCG player that's going to be extremely important when it comes to buying and selling cards overall but I'll get to, get to that in a second First and foremost, one piece of information that I want to give out there to players is obviously you guys want to be checking both eBay and TCG player because oftentimes there'll be disparities beca uh, between different cards. So for instance, if you see a card listed maybe for $5 on eBay, you might see it listed for $3 on TCG player or $2 on TCG player. And the reason for that is a lot of the times, even though that the sellers are going to be getting the same amount, the card value is ultimately the same thing. eBay ends up eating up more fees. So they have to charge a little bit more of an inflated value. But if you're looking for more expensive cards, it's, it's usually better to go on eBay because a lot more times the prices will tend to be a little bit lower, at least in my experience, than TCG player. Depending on the card, it can obviously vary. I like to check both for higher cards. For cheaper cards, usually cards under 10, 15, 20 dollars, usually want to go to TCG player. Again, you want to be checking both, and I know a lot of people emphasize that. But the thing that I want to be talking about today that I think is going to have a very substantial impact on the market, uh, particularly for TCG player uh, across the board, not just for Yu Gi Oh!, but Magic, Pokemon overall, is actually going to be revolving around this. This update that I received it's an email from TCG player if you guys are TCG player members uh, you guys are gonna be able to get this email and you probably if you happen to be a member you might have dismissed this in your email but I strongly encourage you guys to go check it out and it's actually a seller fee update announcement and it's gonna be going into effect on July 6th 2017 so next month this is gonna be going into effect so to give you guys a little bit of a synopsis of how TCG player works is there's different companies people going on there just like on eBay and they sign up with TCG player and they use different types of plans uh, that they basically sign up for or utilize through different systems uh, that have been integrated into TCG player to bring you these cards to list these cards to sell you these cards and TCG player is constantly evolving and this is one of those emails that's very very important so one of the big things that they're actually going to be changing is their basic plan which this is actually a really big plan so this basic plan is what a lot of people use especially players that are people that are new or you know vendors that are new to TCG player and it basically says that the change that they're going to be making is that they're going to be lowering the processing fee to 30 cents uh, which is a reduction of 20 cents per order and the adjusting commission uh, up 1.75 percent. So this will help. Uh, this will help significantly lower the fees paid to TCG Player on orders under ten dollars. And they basically say that in an effort to make our pricing simpler and more consistent for beginning sellers on TCG Player, we're adjusting marketplace sales uh, fees to match the rates for sellers connected to us via API, which is basically a system they use, and then including the lowering of our credit card processing fee from fifty cents to thirty cents. Uh, this will help significantly lower fees paid to the TCG orders under ten dollars, and it gives uh, more opportunities for beginning sellers to list lower price items on my marketplace. This is very, very important. It might not, if you don't understand what this means, 
essentially in in layman's terms it's saying that now they're going to be you're you're going to be charged less to list your cards particularly lower value cards that's one of the biggest problems in detractors for new sellers on eBay and over the years you know 5 10 years on eBay I've bought and sold both Yu-Gi-Oh cards other items etc and one of the things that that really sticks out for me in terms of eBay is that when you list cards let's say you have a card that's worth a dollar and you list that card on eBay as opposed to TCG player on TCG player you lose less money than you do on ebay because they eat more fees and that's why players tend to list cards uh you it's, it makes more sense to get a cheaper card on tcg player when it's a lower value card because it's a less inflated value well now on tcg player uh, a lot of the times, bigger sellers more established sellers they have a better opportunity to sell these cards and a lot of players end up being um pretty much uh not really not really detracted from but really they, they they're, they're not as there's not as much encouragement for them to list a lot of these cards on tcg player and all in all this is basically saying that you're going to be losing less money so you're potentially making more money but the flip side to that is if you're as a seller potentially making more money that could potentially result in people listing especially a lot more of their lower value cards for less so for instance if a card is listed for a dollar on tcg player uh, it might end up, even though now that you might be making more money, sellers might be trying to undercut each other because they're making more money. And to make that same value they're originally making, they're going to be listing their cards for, let's say, 90 cents or 70 cents. And yeah, you're going to have to meet that $1 threshold to get a card shipped to you. You're not going to be able to order it, but you're still saving money in that regard. And sellers are going to be competing for those lower value cards. So all in all, what this is essentially potentially allowing is that lower value cards overall they're going to be listed for lower so you as a uh, as a purchaser you as a consumer are going to be paying less but potentially you might have to pay a couple more increments if you're buying let's say just a single less than $1 value card now this is one big change and i think it's extremely relevant and on top of that uh, credit card fees or fees in general that you're going to be using for transactions are also going to decrease so on higher value stuff what this means is sellers are potentially definitely going to be making more across all those higher value things even though a lot of people are just like lower value things probably going to be trying to undercut themselves so it could be one way or the other as a whole this definitely in my personal opinion solidifies that we're not going to be seeing an atrocious amount of prices we're not going to see prices being insanely inflated if anything we're more likely to see prices stabilize and deflate and basically uh significantly depreciate over time uh particularly for low value cards and potentially some to mid high value cards so that's very very important now there's a lot of other plans there's verified plans as well as pro plans but i'm not really going to break these down i'm going to actually copy paste this email into the description down below so you guys can read this uh for the verified plan it basically says that there's no changes sellers connected via the direct tcg player api access which is basically the interface that sellers use uh they're not going to have any changes but the changes that they are going to be getting is there's going to be an additional 2.5 percent applied to sellers connected via crystal commerce which is again another interface that is used it it just says that over the last uh, year api connection provided by crystal commerce has degraded and uh, has degraded and data outages now occur on a regular basis including several hours over this past uh week these uh, data outages affect not only the prices and quantities displayed by the sellers on tcg player but the transactional data like shipping and details and order info that customers use to track their packages so this means that tcg player is actually going to be seeing a significant improvement in their system so you're going to be able to see more uh more minute by minute and and actual values of quantities and card values being correctly listed so you're not going to be let's say ordering something from a seller that a seller isn't aware of and the, you know if you order something from a seller you're not going to necessarily order something and then have that seller be like oh you know what i'm canceling this even if it's not necessarily a pre-sale they could you know they could have an incorrect quantity displayed and they may have to cancel the order because they don't have that quantity in stock so uh this is just going to make the seller life much much easier and at the same time it's equally going to be reflected in the buyer life being much easier because you're going to have uh, more freedom to basically know what you're buying in real time without the risk of more outages occurring because that's one of the biggest inconsistencies between all these systems that they use uh, moreover this is just other basic stuff they're going to be increasing the severity and frequency of these outages 
uh, in resulted in TCG Player having to relocate developers and making significant investments in infrastructure towards developing an alternate e-commerce solution that provides sellers continually impacted by these issues with another option to run their business, which is TCG Player Pro, which is something that they're heavily pushing, which is basically this new plan that they have here. Uh, and it basically says that pro sellers uh, now are guaranteed to receive our lowest credit card processing fees and marketplace commissions. Uh, you know, for domestic, it's 2.5% plus 30 cents on every dollar or on every transaction, excuse me. Uh, and marketplace commission for singles is 7.75%. So uh, this is a really big thing. A lot of uh, vendors and sellers are transitioning over to the pro plan. It makes buying and selling significantly easier and you're getting the lowest values and the most bang for your buck as a seller. So this is perhaps gonna increase uh, the quantity of sellers and, and the sheer amount of people that are shifting over from eBay to TCG player if they can uh, you know, purchase or have access to this pro plan and just as a whole. Uh, across all the plans, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I keep getting all these phone calls and it's so annoying. Uh, that actually, uh, across all their plans, it says that they're basically increasing, or they're working on this new feature that's going to allow their customers to you know, input their own product images and descriptions for high-end products. So this is very, very important. This is something that I think should definitely be implemented. Um, this is basically what they're taking from eBay. This is one of the biggest advantages eBay had over TCG Player, is that people were able to actually list their actual pictures of their cards. And on TCG Player, if you someone see someone listing a card as lightly played, oh my God. If you see someone listing a card on TCG Player, as lightly played or damaged or heavily damaged and you're potentially considering purchasing that card, you might not be able to see what that card's damage is. And that's problematic because on eBay, if a card is listed as one of those things, the seller might actually increase uh, list the, the actual picture and you might be okay with a certain amount of damage or play wear and you might not, you know, it might be negligible to you. Whereas on TCG Player, you weren't able to do that. It was just strictly a listing based off the seller. Now for expensive items, so for instance here, one of the most expensive Magic the Gathering cards of all time, Black Lotus, you can now list a picture of the condition so people can actually see what that is. And that is a big, big change for TCG Player. So if you're listing $100,000 cards, etc., cetera, uh, you're gonna be able to list the images and that is uh, something that we've never seen on TCG player and I think this is a very advantageous solution uh, to, to TCG player trying to improve some of their problems and, and really disparities between eBay so this these are some very big change and I think a lot of players uh, and a lot of other people that do market watch a lot of my fellow youtubers haven't brought this to light and I think it's something you guys should be aware of again this is all going into effect July 6th next month uh, in 2017 so uh, changes in seller plans are very important because oftentimes that ends up uh, reflecting in the actual card market overall and how people purchase and sell cards and potentially trade cards on a regular day-to-day -day basis. So uh, I hope you guys uh, stay tuned and watched all this. It's something that I think a lot of people don't really talk about. They always just focus on blatant hype, blatant market values. And I think that's something that separates my channel as a whole. So I definitely plan on potentially including more market watches in my video. I try to break this stuff down by substance without necessarily breaking down, uh, you know, breaking down uh, the overall merits of the video by just focusing on hype or really the trends of what other people are doing. Uh, I, I try to be as objective as possible without necessarily strain, you know, influencing the market. That's something that I feel a lot of other people do is they actually have an impact on the market by producing these videos. And that's something I, I would never do because I would do them in a way that doesn't necessarily impact the market. Uh, I would be looking at it more structurally and you know, for, just from a different perspective. And I don't want to do it too much because I don't want it to start being uh, a trend where you know people are expecting me to do market watches and as a result of that, they're basing their purchases off of that and that reflects in the market and that reflects and compounds into other people's market watch updates and videos and so on and so forth to where that overall impacts the market. So that's not what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if I do continue this type of series and video, uh, I will certainly be doing it a little bit differently, hopefully, and maybe doing a little bit my spin on it and looking at stuff that people aren't really talking about. But this is very, very important. Uh, I think a lot of people are very, you know, dismissive of things like this. And uh, ultimately, like I said, I will be listing all this stuff down below. If you guys happen to be signed up on TCG Player, check your email. This might already be in there. If you're a seller, this is big news for you. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the best changes that TCG Player has made. And they certainly have become a titan in the, the card industry right now for buying and selling and just overall card transactions. So... Hopefully one day I can work with them. I'm going to try and reach out to them, maybe talk to TCG Player and see if I can work with them in the near future. 
Uh, that would be great. Hopefully, maybe I can do some kind of product promotion or something, maybe giveaways for you guys on streams. That would be amazing. Uh, but with that being said, I will see you guys. Uh, this is actually, I'm using my new layout. You guys can actually see it on stream. This is hopefully going to be my new layout. I'm not actually streaming right now, but I will be streaming as soon as this video goes live, uh, most likely for the rest of the day before I go out to locals and to watch game four of the NBA finals, hashtag dubs. Uh, if you guys uh, are going to be interested in that, you guys will probably see a little notification down below for Twitch. I'll be streaming both on YouTube and Twitch. I'm streaming on both platforms now, so uh, you guys can watch me on whatever platform you guys want to your heart's content. And if you guys want to donate through Super Chats or do donations to help the channel grow, uh, I'm doing shout outs and a lot of other level things for that. I may do a stream giveaway, maybe like a mat or something for the top donator. Um, all that stuff and proceeds are going to be put towards improving the channel, potentially helping me get a new vlog camera to improve the quality of my content and increase some of the new content, as well as potentially help me get to nationals this year. So uh, I have about a month left, maybe 30 days left to try and uh, get some, you know, try and try and fundraise for that. That'd be awesome. A lot of other people are having success with that. I'm probably not going to be crazy creating a Patreon. If you guys think I should create a Patreon, please comment that down below. I will see you guys. My social media is down below. Uh, again, thank you to everyone that's been following my channel and supporting lately. A lot of you guys out there have been doing great and just pretty much supporting me uh, unconditionally. I very much appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you guys uh, come and visit my live stream, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube. And I hope you guys join and have a good time. Take it easy, duelist. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video or potentially in the live stream. Have a fantastic day, guys.